Welcome to Joyful Gen Yoga. Today's practice is a flow style practice and we're going to be playing with variations and explorations around dancer pose. Um, part of my thought process behind playing with dancer today is that it's a nice opening, open heart shape that helps to kind of feel like you're just opening up to the world, you're coming into situations with your heart forward, your core strong, your back strong, all the important things that we need when we start to do something that's challenging, right? We want to have an open heart, but a strong, rooted center, right? So I hope you enjoy practice today and keep that in mind. Keep the idea of staying connected to core, but open in your heart through your practice. So let's start in a comfortable seat. I'm sitting up on the edge of a blanket. You can do whatever works for you. We'll let our eyes soften close and start to connect. Connect to your breath. Imagine, maybe visualize the grace, the beauty that you might notice when you see somebody dancing. Or maybe it's just a sense of pure joy. I like to take a Zumba class at least once a week and I just shake it all off. Trust me, I never do the steps correctly. <laughs> And I certainly don't follow the rhythm, but it's fun and it makes me smile and it makes me sweat and that's perfect. So maybe your dancer pose is not very well balanced. Maybe it's not the biggest, most dramatic shape you've ever seen on Instagram, but maybe you feel a sense of joy as you work to open your heart, as you stretch and expand all the while feeling connected to your center, feeling grounded and rooted, finding joy in the moments that might feel unbalanced or might feel a little less than easy. And if not joy, maybe you feel a sense of contentment. In Sanskrit, we call it santosha. Being in spaces of ease, even when there's challenge. Bringing your hands to your heart. Perhaps setting an intention for this practice. Maybe it's to be more open or more connected, or maybe just seeking joy in little moments. Bowing forehead to fingertips, sealing in your intention. Releasing, letting your eyes flutter open. Switching the cross of your ankles. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, hands to hearts. Interlace your fingers and press your palms up to the sky. Lift up, press up through the heels of your hands and then lean over to the right side of your space. Inhale, up through center. Exhale, over to the left. Inhale, up through center, release your hands back behind you. See if you can catch opposite elbows. Imagine your forearms are like a little table for your heart to rest on. Inhale, lift and lengthen, and then exhale, start to pull your heart toward the sky, resting the back of your heart on your forearms. And gently release, come back to center. Basti. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, twist to the right, left hand, right knee. Using your right fingertips to help tip your palm slightly forward, find neutral. And then look forward, sweep your right arm all the way up and over, leaning over to the left. Creating spaciousness inside body, you might look up at your right thumb if it feels good. Inhale, arms sweep back up to the sky, hands to heart, interlace the funny feeling way, press your palms forward, round your upper back. 
Inhale, arms reach up, release and twist to the left. Right hand, left knee. Again, this thought of lengthening up through the crown of your head. Since we'll be playing with dancer pose, maybe imagine yourself being the most graceful of ballet dancers throughout practice. And then reaching the left arm all the way up and over, lean to the right. Inhale, both arms stretch on up and take a moment just to reach from side to side, getting length in both side bodies, wiggling your ribs a little bit, and then release. Slide your feet back behind you. Come to all fours. When you arrive on all fours, you can always pat up your knees with a blanket if you'd like. We'll crawl our fingertips forward. Take an inhale. And exhale, melt your heart down toward the ground, opening up through your chest, your shoulders, coming into your puppy pose. Steady breath in. Steady breath out. And then inhale, work your way up to all fours. Inhale, pull your heart forward. Exhale, round it in. Four more cat cows like that. Inhale, heart draws forward, create space. Exhale, round, lift and create space in your back body. Inhale, heart draws forward. Exhale, round it in. Inhale, spaciousness in front body. Exhale, spaciousness in the back body. One more time here. Inhale, lift open. Exhale, fold it in. Inhale, find neutral. Send your right toes straight back behind you. Tuck your toes and press out through your heel, opening and stretching through the back of that right leg. On your next breath in, float the right leg up and bring it all the way over to the left side of your space. You might stay here looking back over your left shoulder, or you could take the top of your right foot down, slide the leg back and get a little bit more into the left outer hip if that feels good. Notice if it feels okay to have your forearms on the earth. And then lift back up, wiggle your elbows underneath your shoulders, press into your palms. Tuck those right toes and then step back into a forearm plank. Connect to your center and then bend your left knee, flex your foot and then take 10 little pulses, pressing your left foot up toward the sky for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lower your left shin to the ground. Come back up to all fours and then pivot and turn so that you're reaching your right arm up to the sky, right leg extends back. Inhale, sweep your right arm up overhead, spin your chest to the sky. And then slowly reach, <laughs> reach your right arm up, reach your right leg up, finding balance hopefully. Take an inhale, and exhale, bend into your right knee, catch your right ankle, and then start to press into your hands just enough to open through the right side, hip flexors and thigh. Open the right side of your heart. Full breath in, and out, gently release, extend. Take your right hand down, roll your right hip down, bring the left leg back behind you. Left arm stretches forward, find balance, ribs keep pulling to hips. Take an inhale, exhale, elbow to knee under your body. Inhale, reach it out. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, stretch out. One more time, elbow to knee. Reach out, find space. Bend your right knee, reach back, see if you can catch the right foot ankle, whatever you gather, even your pant leg works here. Full inhale. 
and exhale, release. Extend back out, let your left hand touch down. Left toes tuck, engage your core. Lift all the way up into a three-legged dog. Open and stack that right hip, and if it feels okay, keep the leg straight, but draw it over to the left. Big opening through the right side hip flexor. And then lift back up, square back off. Step your right foot in between your hand. Left hand stays down, right arm reaches up to the sky. Full inhale. Exhale, right hand touches down. Right foot steps back, shift forward onto your tiptoes. Knees can lower. Lower all the way to the earth. Inhale, slide your elbows underneath shoulders. Pull heart forward into Sphinx Pose. As you arrive in the Sphinx Pose, explore the difference between right and left side. Full breath in and out. Hands in line with your chest. Shift your hips up and back to child's pose. Pause for a moment. Forehead can rest on the earth. Connect back to your breath. Feeling inhale, feeling exhale. Can you feel a sense of grace, beauty, effortlessness in your child's pose? Inhale up to all fours, shoulders over wrists hips over knees, extend the left leg back, tuck the toes and press through the left heel. Ribs lift even here, take an inhale and exhale, come on back, float the left leg up and then bring it over to the right side of your space. Looking over your right shoulder, staying into the side body opening, or taking the top of the left foot down and stretching the leg back at the diagonal, getting a nice opening through the right outer hip. Steady breath in. Steady breath out. Staying with your body, with your breath. Noticing if your mind starts to think about other things. Come all the way back up. Elbows stay down if they were or we place them back down. Left toes tuck, right foot steps back. We're in our forearm plank, thighs squeezed together, pressing the back of the heart up to the sky. Bend your right knee and we'll take 10 little pulses here. Press up for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let the right shin lower. Hands come underneath the shoulders. Land the left foot. Right toes can point toward the right side of the mat. Left arm reaches up and we open. How would it feel to stretch the left arm up overhead? Maybe spinning the chest to the sky. Taking up space, visualizing grace, and then reaching the left hand up, left leg floats, finding balance. And if it would suit you, bending into your left knee, pressing the foot into the hand, opening heart. Steady breath in, steady breath out, releasing, squaring back off that left hip, right toes back behind you. Right arm stretches forward into your balancing table, take an inhale. On exhale, elbow to knee under your body. Inhale, stretch it out, exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach out, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach out, bend that left knee. See if you can catch the foot, open across your heart space. Steady breath in, steady breath out, gently release, extend back out, right hand lands, right toes tuck, lift up and back into your three-legged dog. 
from this three-legged dog, how would it feel to open that left hip and maybe draw the leg over to the right a bit? Opening left side hip flexor, take another inhale. Exhale, bring it back square off. Look forward, step the left foot in between your hands. Right hand stays on the earth, left arm reaches up to the sky. Full breath in and out. Left hand lands, step back to high plank. Knees up or down, lower to the earth. Inhale, pull your heart forward, low cobra or back to sphinx. Shift your body all the way back to child's pose. And when you come into this child's pose, stretch your arms forward, bring your palms together and start to bend your elbows. How would it feel to take the thumbs to the nape of your neck? Noticing your breath here. Coming back to all fours. Observe where your mind goes when it leaves your breath or leaves your body. Tuck your toes and lift all the way up into, th into your downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg reaches up. Open and stack your hip and bend your right knee. Keep pressing into your left side body so that you're lifting up away from the earth. Take an inhale. On exhale, pull your right knee to your right elbow. Inhale, open back up. Exhale, draw right knee to right elbow. One more time, inhale to open it up. And exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, stretch up straight. Step the right foot in between your hands. Now you might wanna block here to the inside or outside of the right foot. We'll pivot the left heel down. Keep the right hand on the earth. Left arm reaches up. So if your hand is to the outside of the right foot, could you press that right knee into your right arm? If your hand is to the inside of the right foot, could you use the right arm to press into the right thigh? See how it would feel to take the left arm back behind you, back of the hands to your hip opening chest. Take another breath here. And then inhale, reach your left arm up and forward, stretch through the side body. And then take your hands down to the inside of your right foot. Keep sending your bum toward the right. Crawl your hands over to the left. Get a nice stretch through your inner thighs. Squeeze your heels in towards center and start to straighten your right leg. Right hand can come back to the outside of the right leg as we reach left arm up, Trikonasana. Gazing up at the left thumb if it feels good. And then taking your left hand to your hip, you can take a block with you as you soften into your right knee and float the left leg up and back into Ardha Chandrasana. Left arm could stretch up. You could decide to get kind of fancy here, bend that left knee and see if you can reach back and find your foot here. In this shape, be sure that your hips are actually open here. Your belly button, your shoulders are facing the long edge of your mat. Take another inhale and exhale, release back into Ardha Chandrasana. Bend into the right knee and step all the way back into your warrior too. Even in those moments where it's no longer graceful, right? You've fallen or something isn't quite what you imagine. Can you maybe laugh at yourself? Flip your left palm, reach it up and back. Left fingertips light on the left leg. Inhale, back up to warrior two. Hands come down, step back to high plank. Roll to the outside of your left foot. Reach your right arm up to the sky. Come back through center. Right hand down, left arm up, side plank. Release your left hand, shift forward, knees up or down, lower chaturanga. Inhale, heart draws forward, up dog or cobra. Back over your toes, downward facing dog. Connect back to the strength of your center, ribs to hips. 
Shoulders strong instead of hanging in your joints. Left leg reaches up. Open and stack that left hip. You can bend your knee. Notice if you're collapsing on right side. Can you press up, create that buoyancy? Take an inhale. On exhale, left knee to left tricep. Inhale, stretch it on up. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Inhale, reach up. One more time, tap that knee to your tricep. Inhale, stretch it on up. Straighten the leg and step the foot in between your hands. Take a block to the inside or outside of that left foot. Right foot can pivot, right heel down, right toes face the long side of the mat. Right arm stretches up to the sky. Maybe your gaze follows if that feels okay. As you breathe here, notice if your mind is in this moment. Are you focused on your breath, the shape, your body's experience? Take another breath in and out. Right hand comes down, left hand to the inside of that left foot, and then we'll start to crawl our hands down the long side of the mat. Stick your bum back behind you. Find some length and stretch here. And then crawl your hands back in. Straighten out the left leg. Left hand to the outside of the left foot. Right arm reaches up in your trikonasana. Shoulder blades continue to draw down your back. Almost like your shoulder blades are helping to support your heart so that you can enter into your adventures in your life with your heart open, but feeling the sense of centered calm within. Looking down, right hand, right thigh, taking a block with you as you spring forward into your Ardha Chandrasana half moon. Right toes pull into your shin, belly, and shoulders open to the long side of the mat. Right arm could reach up. Gaze could be down out in front of you, or if you want to challenge yourself, you might look up toward the sky, reaching back for the right foot, perhaps. Finding that balance of opening through your front, but keeping ribs pulling toward your hips so you have that sense of stability. I find that I tend to death grip the blocks, so notice if you're finding tension in kind of bizarre places to hold yourself in a shape you think you ought to be in. Take another breath, and then gently release back into your warrior two. Adjust your feet accordingly and just arrive. Be there, root down, heels energetically pull toward one another. Flip your left palm, reach it up and back, reversing your warrior. Inhale up through warrior two, cartwheeling your hands down, pivot onto the ball of your back foot. We're gonna step back into high plank. This time, so we've done this on our knees, so you certainly could come back to your knees, or you could roll on to the outside of your right foot, left arm could reach up, maybe left knee starts to bend. Maybe we reach back and find the left foot, opening up, creating that dancer shape in our Vashisthasana, our side plank. Come back to regular plank, roll on to the left side, and explore. It might happen, it might never happen, who cares? That's so much part of our practice. Can we be in acceptance? Can we be with what is? Woo! <laughs> what is today is questionable on this side. Steady breath in and out. Gently release, shift forward, lower halfway. Inhale, heart draws forward. Exhale, over toes, down dog. Look forward, step or float your feet to the top of your space. Inhale, lengthen your spine and fold it in. Soften your knees, arms stretch all the way up and hands come to hearts. <sighs> Hopefully 
definitely feeling kind of warmed up right now. We're gonna walk our feet about a fist distance apart. Drop your bum, reach your arms, Utkatasan chair pose. Ribs pull down, heart lifts up. Feeling right here, that sense that you're rooted, you're connected, you know where your center is. And from that center, from that space of conviction, we can lift our hearts and simply arrive, simply be. Full inhale and exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale for length, exhale, step the left foot back behind you. Inhale, lifting up into your crescent lunge. Taking a hold of your left wrist, lift and lengthen, and lean to the right. Inhale, up through center. Exhale, hands down, straighten out the right leg. You could hop the left foot in. Hands could be on blocks here. Finding your pyramid, you might lift your toes off the earth if you'd like. Beautiful. Lower the right foot down, re-bend into the right knee, and let your left toes come to the earth. Inhale, coming into Anjanyasana, interlace your hands up above your head. You could release your index fingers if you'd like. Think spaciousness through your torso, but this constant lift from below your navel. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, left hip might draw slightly forward. Inhale, lift up again. Exhale. So as you're finding space in the front of your body, it's not this like, ah, let everything go. It's this almost really calculated space. Right? We're in control of how much we offer up how much we open. Squeezing that left glute a little bit, take an inhale, and then on exhale, hands touch down. Now you might take your hands onto blocks here as you wiggle your right foot over to the right side of your space. We'll play with a little lizard lunge here. You might draw forearms down onto blocks or to the earth. You could even play with lifting the back leg up. You could also lower that left knee down and consider taking the foot off the ground and maybe reaching back with your right hand, getting a nice quad stretch here on that left side. Opening up through the front of that left thigh. Full inhale and exhale, gently release, listen carefully. We're gonna come up as though we we're coming into Ardha Hanumanasana, right? Our hamstrings stretch here. But instead of staying up kind of tall, we're gonna wiggle our hips down so that our left knee is bent, our left heel is to the outside of our left hip, and our right leg is extended out in front of us. Now this very well might be our shape, especially if you're feeling a lot of sensation in that left quad. If it's reasonable in your body, you might start to take it back a little, coming into Art of Yurasana or Half Hero Pose. What we're looking for is opening in the front of the left thigh. Perhaps your knees stay close together, maybe your left knee kind of kicks out to the left a little. If you can keep your pelvis even on the ground, you might lower all the way down to the ground reaching arms up overhead and maybe taking opposite elbows or opposite forearms. Stay energized through your right leg. Toes stay pointed up toward the sky. And we breathe. Let this or envision this to be a rest pose. Another steady breath in. And out, gently engage your core, lean to the right and come all the way back up. Now, is it possible, maybe with blocks, as long as this left knee feels healthy and fine, could we lift right back up into a low lunge with our right leg forward? Now, for fun, we're gonna lift all the way up into our Anjanyasana, our low lunge, and just notice if that 
left thigh feels any different? Could you even engage your core so much that you lifted your left knee off the ground being on the top of that left foot? Full inhale and exhale, lower down. Now if that's not appropriate for your knee or ankle, please don't do it. Tuck the left toes, step back to high plank, lower halfway, inhale, heart draws forward, up dog, exhale, over toes, down dog. Right leg reaches up, we open and stack. If flipping your dog is in your practice, you might lightly touch the right toes over to the left. Opening up heart, how would it feel to reach your right arm over to the right and then inhale, open up through your chest. Exhale, reach across your body. Inhale, open it up. Allow it to be graceful, to feel like a dancer. It doesn't have to be any sort of particular movement. Release right hand back down. Right leg reaches straight back. Step the right foot to the outside of the right pinky finger. Look forward. Left foot steps to the outside of the left pinky finger. We come down into our Malasana, our yogic squats. Now know that you can always be in movement here. If you feel like you need a little rest, you could always take a block underneath your sits bones and pause for a moment. Let this be an opportunity to reconnect to your center Steady breath in and steady breath out. Find your peace fingers, wrap them around your big toes. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Elbows draw out to the side. If you've lost your ujjayi breath, that ocean sounding breath, see if you can take this fold to bring it back. And then inhale, find length. Exhale, soften in. Bend the knees a little bit as you inhale, lift on up. And exhale, hands come back to heart. So we'll play back with our chair pose to root and ground again. So feel again, feet about one fist distance apart. Drop your bum, reach your arms, and maybe we're a little lower this time. Weight pulls back to your heels, ribs pull down, heart lifts up. These little checkpoints help to keep our mind right here in the moment, staying mindful instead of just moving through an exercise. Right? That's what makes yoga different. Take an inhale, exhale, fold forward, lift and lengthen. Exhale, touch down, step your right foot way back behind you. Inhale, arms sweep up coming into a crescent lunge. Taking a hold of your right wrist, lift and lengthen, lean to the left. Inhale all the way back up. Exhale, hands touch down. Straighten out your left leg and hop your right foot in a little bit, coming into a pyramid shape. Inhale for length. Exhale to soften. The left toes could lift up off the ground. Landing the left foot back down, bending into the left knee, lowering right knee down. And we'll inhale, come up into Anjanyasa, our low lunge. This time, interlace your fingers, release your index finger. Inhale, lift up again. Think, imagine like somebody was just holding your rib cage and lifting it up so that you're almost like envisioning separating your pelvis from your torso, although we wouldn't really want that. But this idea of spaciousness. Connect, root down, but then lift up. The right glute is strong and connected. The space below the belly is lifted and connected. Take another inhale. 
and exhale, hands come down to the inside of that left foot. And then we play again with our lizard lunge. So whatever works, elbows could be down, you could tuck the right toes, lift the right leg, playing here. If it would suit you to have the right knee down and maybe bend into the right knee, reach back with your left hands and get that ever so delightful quad stretch. Notice what your body needs, what you're experiencing, and gently release that foot. So come back up, and as though we were coming into that Ardha Hanumanasana, that hamstring stretch, and in fact, you could stay here a breath or two if you'd like, but remember, we're trying to get into the front of that right quad. And you start to lower down, right heel to the outside of the right hip. This could be our shape. If you're feeling a ton of sensation, you're near your quad, you stay wherever is appropriate. If it feels good to start walking your body back, you might do so. Try to keep your sits bones even on the ground. It could be by sitting on a blanket or a block. Stay with energy in the left foot. And if you are so inclined, to lower all the way back, feel free in our Art of Virasana, half hero pose. Maybe we take a moment in the shape to dedicate some love out to all of the heroes in our world today. Take another inhale. And exhale, release, really re-engage through center, lean a bit to the left, come all the way back up, and then see if it's possible to come all the way back into that low lunge. And when you arrive in the low lunge, inhale, arms sweep up and just kind of notice, how does this side feel? Do you feel more open? Would it be possible to lift from low belly and lift the right knee right up off the ground? And we'll lower back down. Who cares if that happened? Tuck the right toes, step it back, find downward facing dog. Staying here, making your way through a vinyasa if you feel like you need a little bit more energy movement. So you could come forward into your high plank, lower halfway. Inhale, heart draws forward. Exhale, back to down dog. Left leg reaches up and back. You can open and stack the hip, staying here. Or if you were so inspired to flip your dog and it feels fine in your shoulder, you could certainly play here. You may reach your left arm across your body and then open up through your heart and your hips, kind of playing with movement, with freedom if you feel it. Imagine where you feel grace. And then when you're ready, flipping all the way back over, if you chose that, left foot steps to the outside of your left pinky finger. Look forward, big step, right foot to the outside of the right pinky finger, hands to heart. Staying here. Breathing. And then starting to straighten up through your legs. Walk your feet so they're about hips width distance apart and take one hand underneath your foot at a time. Maybe using your big toes to give your wrists a little massage here. Another steady breath in. And out, release. Bend into your knees, inhale, arms sweep all the way up overhead, and hands come to heart. <sighs> How are we feeling? Good, I hope. I'm gonna slide the blanket off of my mat. I won't need it here. So we'll start to root into the right foot. Hug the left knee into your chest. And as you do, feel this energy, right, where you're pressing down through your foot, but almost growing energetically up into your hip. 
same action in your core, right? So ribs pull down, but below the belly button lifts up. It's like everything's drawing towards center. So as you play here, feel everything kind of arrive around your navel. Feel that strength. Take another breath. And then draw your hands to heart. Connect to something out in front of you with your gaze, your drishti. Find that center, that stillness. And then bend into your right knee. Bring your left leg straight back, coming into warrior three. Full inhale, energy through that left foot. And um, exhale as lightly as possible back into your crescent. Sliding your right hand to heart, reaching your left arm back behind you. Could you tilt forward into your warrior three again, bend into your left knee, and then slide your right arm forward as you press the left foot back, coming into your dancer. Full inhale, exhale, come all the way tall, and gently release hands to heart. Beautiful. I'm sure it's beautiful. Root into your left foot. Again, this idea, energy down, energy up, and then kind of finding all that energy around your navel. Hugging the right knee in. Lifting heart, but feeling strength and connection at your center. Hands to heart. Gently press that foot back as you root into the left foot. Heart draws forward, drishti is steady, your gaze. Keep pressing the right heel back, take an inhale, and exhale, lightly step the foot back into your crescent. Arms sweep up, left hand to heart, right hand reaches back, tilt forward toward warrior three again, and see if you can spring forward into your dancer pose. Open heart, strong, stable foundation. Where can you grow from? Full in, and exhale, lift all the way tall, and release. Oh, beautiful. We're gonna do one more variation and see how that shows up for us. So we'll root back into the right foot, same action, thinking about really rooting but lifting energetically. Hands to heart, left knee lifts. Take an inhale, exhale, tilt forward with your chest, back with your left leg, warrior three. Energy lifts up. As we connect down, hips are as square as possible. Take an inhale, exhale, land your left toes back. Sweep your arms back and interlace your fingers. Lift and open through your heart. Stay here, keeping that heart lifted, or consider tilting forward, and then could you maybe tuck your left toes into your hands, pulling your heart forward, getting a big old shoulder stretch in a variation of dancer. And then release, holding that left foot with your left hand inside or outside of your foot. I want you to play with what works just right with your body. I prefer inside of my foot because I like that external rotation of my shoulder. Finding your dancer one last time. Finding your fullest expression. Maybe, maybe we touch our right hand down to a block or the earth. And then maybe we use our core to lift right back up. Full inhale. Exhale, gently release. Give that all a good shake. Notice how your feet feel. Notice how your center feels. And then we'll root into the left foot. Hugging that right knee in, a little squeeze, hands to heart. Press that foot back as you pull your heart forward. Full inhale, exhale, tap the right toes back into our crescent, take an inhale. Exhale, arms come back behind us. Perhaps we interlace in the funny feeling way this time, lifting your heart, open your chest. Connect to center, right? That space below the belly button keeps lifting. Full inhale. 
exhale, tilt your torso forward, and then consider springing that right leg up, maybe finding your right foot, maybe not, in that interlace. I know it's there somewhere. Your hamstring might decide it doesn't love that. Let's just explore. We you know your other variations of dancer pose, but it's kind of fun to play with something a little different. Full inhale. And exhale. Hug that right leg. Choose outside of your foot inside of your foot with your right hand. And then we'll come to our fullest expression of dancer. Pulling heart forward, lifting through chest, trying to keep that right knee pointed down toward the ground instead of out to the right. And if it would suit you to tap the left fingertips down toward the earth or a block you might, and then you could come right back. And we'll gently release. Whew, give that all a shake. That was wonderful. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold it forward. Lengthen your spine, touch the earth. Step back to plank, feel your center, ribs to hips. Inhale here, exhale, shift forward, lower to the earth. When you arrive on the earth, hands underneath your forehead and simply breathe. From here, I know you're not done with dancer, or at least I'm not done with dancer, and maybe you're still watching the video, so let's hope. Left arm will sweep forward, and then we'll plug that arm back. Let the left elbow drop down, so your heart is pulling forward, and there's a nice stable base in your left arm. We'll bend into our right knee, reach back for the outside of the right foot. Start to press the right foot into your hand, lift from below your belly, and then think, about reaching left arm up. Stretching right leg back. Maybe the left leg lifts up as well. Full inhale here. Exhale, soften back down and release. Pause before taking a lot of movement and just see what you can notice. And then if it would feel good, a little wiggle of your hips is perfectly fine. Right arm reaches forward now. Plug that right shoulder blade in on your back and rest that right elbow down for stability. Lifting your heart, almost like you're in sphinx pose, but slightly different. Bend into that left knee, reach back, catch the outside of the left foot. Heart pulls forward, left foot stretches back. Lift from below your navel. Right arm sweeps up, right leg might lift up. Feel the tone of your low back. Feel the connection to your glutes, to your core, that lift in your heart. Take another breath in and release. Let that go, a little wiggle of your hips. Take another inhale and exhale lifting your chest, bend both knees. And we're first going to reach back to Dhanurasana to our bow pose without actually trying to touch our feet. I know that sounds kind of counterintuitive. Sweep your arms back, lift your thighs off the ground or envision it at least. Pull your heart forward, feel all the muscles contract that help this lift be possible. And then soften. Oh. It's much harder when we don't actually hold our feet. And then if it's possible, reach back for the outsides of your ankles. Lift up. Think of all those muscles that were contracting. Lift, imagine you could lift your navel right off of the earth. Full inhale and exhale. Let that go. Be in stillness for three breaths. And 
if you'd like to windshield wiper your feet side to side, you certainly could. Even a little wiggle of your hips side to side is perfect. And send your legs straight back, hands in line with your chest. Lift up through all fours. When you arrive in all fours, reach your left arm up, stretch your left leg back, and then sweep your left arm under your right, threading the needle. So in this thread the needle, we very much could be in a rest pose, allowing that outer left shoulder to open. You might even take your right hand into your left, drawing the hand a little bit more over to the right for more opening. Or if you're feeling kind of warmed up and you feel like you'd like to play a little bit here, if you're feeling stable and there's very little weight in your head, your right arm could reach up, your right leg could reach up. You could even, if you were so inclined, bend that right knee and see if you could find a bind here. Almost like you were in dancer pose, but I don't know, maybe a dancer pose that if you left me there long enough, I'd end up looking like this, right? Collapse of the dancer. No. Stay connected. Stay open. Take an inhale. And exhale. Gently release. Come back up through all fours. Inhale. Heart draws forward. Exhale. Round it in. Inhale for neutral. Reaching your right arm up. I like to stretch my right leg back when I do that and like really open through heart. And then bring that arm underneath your body, stretching, staying with whatever variation suits you. Left hand in right if you'd like. Left toes could tuck back. Left leg could lift. Left arm could lift or find a half bind. Maybe you reach back and find your foot. Full inhale. And exhale, find your way back onto all fours when you're ready. Allow it all to drop back. Let your knees go wide, shift your hips to your heels and find child's pose. Come back up through all fours. I'm gonna offer a couple more poses as we lower down and just take what I offer with whatever makes sense in your body, okay? So we'll draw feet together, knees apart, Baddha Konasana, nothing crazy here. Inhale for lift and length, exhale to fold it forward. up and see this is where things start to you know take their their turn right see if you can press your feet together lift your thighs a little bit so that you're really engaging in our thighs stretch your arms forward ribs to hips and lower down to the ground as slowly as possible trying to keep your pinky toes touching and on the ground and when you release, open into Supta Baddha Konasana. Notice how that feels. And then help your knees to point up to sky. We're going to come in to two more heart openers. Your back body is well awake for this. And hopefully your core is feeling pretty centered. So my offering, of course, is to do whatever you'd like to do here. So if you know bridge pose is what you like, that's what you'll stick with. If you're kind of tired and you want to slide a block under your hips and come into a supported bridge pose and just hold this for maybe 20 breaths, absolutely perfect, right? So do what makes sense. Walk your heels in so that they're right under the knees, close to the hips. Reach down for your heels and then start to shimmy your shoulder blades under your back. You might hold your heels or even draw your hands underneath you, binding. 
Feel your inner thighs active and press evenly between your heels and your big toe mounds so that your glutes and your inner thighs are firing. Take another breath in here and then exhale, lower down. We'll lift right back up into that bridge or a supported bridge or if you're over it, pause and Supta Baddha Konasana. You can always, if you'd like, wheels in your practice, take your hands underneath your shoulders, start to press up and play with earth, the Dhanurasana, your wheel pose. Inner thighs draw together. We're still thinking ribs to hips, even though your body's arcing upward. Another big soft heart opening and exhale, lower back down. When you arrive on your back again, walk your feet wide, let your knees knock in towards center, create space around your sacrum. So we've done a lot of big opening up through the central channel of our body. We've connected to our strength and from that space opened even further. We're gonna reset our core quickly here. We'll walk our feet in towards center. The heels of our hands will press onto our thighs and our thighs will pull towards our belly and our hands will resist away. So we'll lift our shins parallel to the ground. Start to press your arms forward, resist with your legs. Feel your entire core turn back on. Full inhale and exhale, release, beautiful. Right ankle over left thigh. Hug the left knee into your chest. Steady breath in in your figure four. And then gently release. Give the right leg a shake and release the right foot. Left leg reaches across the left ankle over the right thigh. And hug the left knee in. Another breath or two here. And then release. Start to shake your arms and legs up toward the sky like you're having a little tantrum. And then reach for the outsides of your feet, coming into a happy baby shape. You might even shift a little side to side. When you're ready, you could certainly Arrive down in Shavasana if that's what would help you to feel the most rested. I might offer that you decide a seated meditation might be interested, interesting today. After all of the opening we did in our front body and our hips, you might find it a little easier to sit. That might not be the case, and if you want Shavasana, take it. But if you'd like to come upright, Find your comfortable cross-legged seat. Lift up through the crown of your head, you certainly could. Wherever you are, notice your thoughts. Notice where your mind is. Notice your breath. Can it return to a soft normal? Soft breath in, soft breath out. Where does your mind go when your body starts to feel still? For a moment, will you bring your mind back to your strong center, that space of conviction, that space of connection? Can you feel your feet where you root and ground into the earth? Can you feel your heart, the front of your heart where you can be open, the strength of your back body that continues to support you? Can you feel a sense of grace, of openness, of surrender? Can you be more willing to lead from a heart-centered place, 
breaking down our barriers of fear so that we can enter into the world from a place of love and compassion with our heart open to give and to receive seated upright, stay for a few more breaths. If you're in Shavasana, gently wiggle, release hands and legs, and then take a full body stretch. Hug knees in, roll to whichever side you'd like. Use your hands to guide your way up to a seat. And when we've all arrived back in our seat. Good job, Basti, sitting with us too. We'll reach our arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, hands come to heart center. If nothing else, let the joy of this practice be that the dog decided to sit when we came up to a seat. Oh, bowing forehead into fingertips in gratitude. I wish you all abundant joy. Be well.